Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss how to draw an involute of a pentagon. Draw an involute of a pentagon of side 25 mm. This is the given question. So pentagon means it has 5 sides. So we are using regular pentagon here. All sides has equal length of 25 mm. And the angle at all corners also same for the regular pentagon. For doing the involute, we need to do the pentagon. So we have one outer angle formula. Theta I am taking outer angle. It is 360 by n where n is number of sides of the polygon here we are taking pentagon it has 5 sides so n is equal to 5 360 by 5 it is equal to 72 degrees ok at all outer angles the angle is same it is 72 theta is equal to 72 here also it is 72 here also it is 72 so all outer angles has same value first we will do this pentagon in the sheet by using the instruments Take 25 mm side initially. Mark AB. And after that, take angle that is 72 degrees. From this side, 72. In this direction, take 25 mm. So, this is 25 mm. Mark C. This is outer angle, it is also 72. Take 72 here from this side. In this direction, take 25. Mark the end, that is E here. Take outer angle 72. Take 72 at C do line in this direction of 25 mm mark the end point d if you measure ed it is it should 2.5 cm now it is 2.5 cm and we can check the angle also whether it is 72 or not by using the protractor we are getting 72 so whatever pentagon we did it is correct after doing the pentagon do one line Mark P point, initial point it is at the B point, P and B at the same point. Do PQ line, this line length is L, where L is equal to length of the PQ is 5 sides of the polygon into side length of the polygon, 25. Okay, it is 125 mm, that is 12.5 cm. So PQ length is 12.5 cm. By using scale from the P point, just do one line here on it mark 12.5 cm make it dark mark the end point is q point pq length is 12.5 cm have to divide pq length into 5 parts because pentagon has 5 sides ok why each part is 2.5 cm that is side length of the pentagon pq into 5 here we have to divide into 5 parts each part is 25 first part second first second third fourth fifth okay so take 2.5 centimeter already we have marked on the pentagon take that length divide this line into five parts first part second part third part fourth part and last one is the fifth one so mark the points one two three so we have divided 5 parts at all these sides do some length of the line by using scale take any length just do some length take first PQ length on the first line mark this PQ length at the Q point PQ ok so by using compass mark the same length just take one bigger arc at the Q point that is the PQ length next take P4 length mark this P4 length on the second line at the C take the bigger arc so that at the end we can do the involute easily mark P4 length here ok P4 point next take P3 mark on the third side by using compass 
take P3 length, mark on the third side. Take the bigger one, mark P3 length here, P3 point, intersection point. On the next one, mark P2. Take the intersection point P2. Next last length is P1. After P2, P1 length mark on the last side. P1, A as center and join with the P point. That is the initial point. Take intersection point P1. Join all the P points. We will get the involute. Do the curve with the free hand. Join the arcs. Join P4, PQ. Make it dark of this involute and this pentagon also. And make this curve also dark. Mark the given dimension 25mm for this involute of a pentagon.